This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, how can I set up a Z modeler brush for doing retopology? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up and I just have a running shoe here loaded in. And the question is asking about creating a specialized Z modeler brush that contains the functionality to allow you to retopologize models like the shoe here. Now, one caveat before we start into this process is that you need to make sure that you at least have ZBrush 2021.1.1 installed. If you have an earlier version of ZBrush installed, this process will not work. So make sure you're updated to at least 2021.1.1 or higher. Now, before we start doing our retopology, we wanna just add a starting polygon to our mesh that will allow us to start extruding edges from to create the new topology for this shoe. So to do this, I'm gonna come over here to the brush palette and open this up. And in here, I'm gonna locate the IMM Primitives H brush. Now, when I select this insert multi-mesh brush, it's going to load this in. And then the top here, you're gonna see all the different parts this brush contains. I wanna locate the single poly part here. And then I just wanna position my shoe or the object I wanna to retopologize just to a good view on the camera here. And then wanna make sure that my model here contains no subdivision levels. And then I'm just gonna simply click and drag. And this is going to add this insert mesh part of a single poly to my model. And I just wanna click and drag. And this is now going to add that single poly there onto my existing topology. So I've just inserted in this single polygon onto my mesh. Now, after I have inserted this polygon to my shoe here, I can now go to the subtool palette. And then I can go to the split area and I can use split unmasked points. This is going to take that insert mesh object that I just added, and since it is unmasked by default, I'm gonna be able to split this off to a new subtool. So coming over here and clicking the split unmasked points is now going to generate a new subtool here. So now I have my shoe, and then I also have that single poly as its own subtool. So now with this single poly as its own subtool, I can come over here and turn on my polyframes, and now I can start manipulating this to start creating topology. Now, in order to use this poly here and add more edges to it and more vertices, I wanna to switch to the Z Modeler brush. So I'm gonna go back over to the brush palette over here and open this up, and then down at the bottom here, I'm going to select the Z Modeler brush. Now the Z Modeler brush is a context sensitive brush. So if you hover over a poly, an edge, or a point, you're gonna be able to perform different actions. Now for retopology purposes, there's a few actions we want to have set with this brush. So if we hover over an edge, you'll see the default action is insert edge loop. Well, we don't want this action to be insert edge loop, we want it to be extrude edge loop. So to change this, just hover over the edge and then press spacebar, and this will open up the Z Modeler edge action menu. In here, I wanna select the action of extrude, and then down here under modifiers, I wanna select the snap to surface option. So now what this will allow me to do is if I come across an edge of this poly here and click and drag, I'll be able to extrude that edge, and then this edge will snap to the surface of any visible subtool. So you can see as I drew that edge out, it snapped to the surface. Now the next option I wanna set is I wanna hover over a point and then press spacebar to go into the point action menu. I wanna make sure the action is set to move. And then down here in the modifiers, I want to also enable snap to surface. So now if I move a point on my model, this is now going to snap that point directly to the surface of the mesh. So now I've set my edge option to the extrude and my move option to the snap move. Now, while you're doing your retopology, since the snapping is going to be done directly on the surface of your mesh, you may get stuff happening like this, where you have your new topology being occluded by original meshes. In order to alleviate this, we can go over to our tool palette, then go down to our geometry area, and then we can go into the dynamic subdivision area here, and we can enable dynamic. Now, dynamic mode will give you a preview of what your model will look like if it had higher subdivision levels. So if I turn on solo here, you can see it's taken those two polygons I just created, and it's viewing them as though they were subdivided. Now these little points here are your control points, which are showing you the position of the original vertices of the mesh. So the dynamic mode is only a preview. So as you toggle this on and off, 
you'll be able to see what the mesh looks like smooth, and then you'll see what it looks like originally. What we want the dynamic mode to do in this case for a retopology is we don't want it to apply any smooth subdivision, so we're gonna turn this down to zero, and then we wanna give it some thickness. So if I get out of solo here, you can see it's embedded into the mesh. But if I come over here, I can start applying dynamic thickness to this. And as I apply this, this is now going to take those polys and push them out from the surface. So this is still a dynamic mode. So if I turn off dynamic, this is what my true topology looks like. But then with dynamic on, I can now see the topology I'm creating a little bit easier. So now I come across these and start extruding these edges out and start moving points and start generating the topology on my model. So I can just come through and start moving these points around and start extruding more edges to start retopologing the surface of my mesh. Now another option I like to set on the Zmodeler brush when using it to generate topology is I like to remove the poly action completely. So right now my poly action is set to QMesh a poly. So if you're working with points and edges, I don't really need to do anything with polys. So I just want to extrude edges and I want to move points. But oftentimes you may come across a poly by accident and when you click, it's going to perform that poly action instead of the edge or the point action. So what we can do is we can hover over the poly and press spacebar to go to the Zmodeler poly action menu. And then in here, we can choose the action of do nothing. So now if you accidentally click on a poly, it will not perform that QMesh action. So now you should be able to easily come through and just extrude edges and move points and not worry about performing any polygon functionality with the Zmodeler brush. Now, after you have this process going, you can come through and just retopologize your entire mesh. And then let's say that we wanna save this brush so that we can use it later. So we don't have to go through each time and set our edge action, set our point action, and set our poly action. So after you have these actions set, you just need now to come up to the brush palette up here and click Save As, and save this as a new Zmodeler brush. And this is going to remember all those options you changed in the Zmodeler settings. So I'm gonna come up here to brush, go to save as, and simply click this. This should by default take me to the Pixelogic ZBrush 2021 directory here, Z Startup Brush Presets folder. In here, I can now create a new Zmodeler brush. So I'll call this Zmodeler Retopo. And then now I can click save. And now this brush will be stored in your ZBrush preset. So the next time you launch ZBrush, this Zmodeler brush will be loaded in automatically. So let's come over here and quickly just save this. So I'm coming to the tool palette and clicking Save As. And I'm just going to save this to my desktop here. And then now let's restart ZBrush. And after ZBrush launches, we now just need to load that file back in. So I'm gonna go to the tool palette and click Load Tool. I'm gonna to select my file, then click Open. So here we have my shoe again with the subtool with that topology being created. And now if I go to my brush palette over here and open this up, you'll see down here at the bottom, I have the standard Zmodeler brush, but then now I also have the Zmodeler Retopo brush that I created. So now I can come over here and simply select that brush. And if I hover over the subtool now, you can see that the edge extrude option is already set and the move points is set as well. So now I can just come back in and start generating topology across my model. So to quickly recap, to save out a custom Zmodeler brush for doing retopology, you just need to select the Zmodeler brush, and then after the Zmodeler brush is selected, go through and set the actions you want for edge, point, and also poly, and then after they are set up for your retopo process, you then just need to go to the brush palette over here and click Save As and save this brush into the Z Startup Brush Presets folder. When you launch ZBrush the next time, that brush will be loaded in in addition to the original Zmodeler brush. And then you can just go in and select that brush and get right into the retopology. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.